I'm not just promoting again this grammar because I'm really fond of it. I think it's all over the world. It's in Italy, of course, when we have this all this Sunday together, mm -hmm. when you have when we have food together, when we. So it's certainly not specifically. Once you identify it, you can see it. But it's uh, inequally developed. Now, if you want to build politics on it, mm. aha, mm -hmm. that would be another story, only on it. It could be an interesting component of politics. We are working on that now with Russian young colleagues. But if you just use it and only it, then you are making something very different from this grammar. You are making instrumental this grammar for populist. Oh, sorry, I, I wanted to put this slide this for Russia. you, but I will have no time. I, I can say it. You can read it quickly, read it quickly, but you are the only one to be able to read it. Uh, so, uh, the populist uh, instrumental making of this transform completely because within the grammar of commonplace there is a possibility of differing. Why? First, you are not certain that the other is investing the same commonplace. Second, there are such a multiplicity of commonplace with such a multiplicity of scales. For instance, when you are lovers, you create commonplace. Mm. This is very central to this community of lovers. Well, this is not very political, as you can imagine. Mm. But, 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 uh, but uh, what is uh, in English? Uh, la patrie. Patria. Patria. No, but it's not English. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Homeland. Because it has something of, of uh, actually, of uh, this grammar. Well, homeland uh, is a, or can also be a commonplace. And of course, it's not the same scale. Now, oh, maybe you know Russian too. Okay, so you understood the slide. I can leave the side. No, the, this is already a problem before populist. It is the use of history. Because history is presented in most classical museums in Soviet Union and Russia as a collection of commonplaces. But this is a problem because history is not commonplace made. So this is typical enacting of commonplace while well, nothing necessarily populist in it. It can be just people thinking. Now, this is typical of populist extreme right use of commonplace, Jane of Arc, by extreme right, Front National, uh, French party. And now, uh, to finish, yes, I am finished. I love that. This is in Copenhagen Central Park. This is a nice combination of liberal grammar and commonplace grammar. How can you imagine that? Well, you know the suckers, they have a very splendid term for that in English and American, pacifier. I love that. We don't have it. Pacifier. So of course parents use this to pacify their babies. But if you, have, if you are a liberal, well, of course, you cannot have babies because babies are not liberal uh, entity because you need to help them. So they cannot be autonomous. So in the liberal thought, you have no teachers and you have no babies either. You have individual, autonomous individuals learning. Okay. But these babies, so they are a problem. They should become autonomous. So of course, you take the pacifier out. And you put it on a tree, and that's very interesting. Why? First, there are others, babies putting. Well, of course, there is some pressure for, from the parents, as you can imagine, for this autonomy, as usually, pressure for autonomy. But 
they are very sad to leave their transitional object. But they know that it's here. So next Sunday they can go and see, not take it back, of course, but go and see. And they know, they see the others. So it works very well. So that's a good way to combine. And my last slide is about another way to prevent this transformation of commonplace. You know, this unification of commonplace, this alignment of commonplace made by populist leader, this inclusion of all commonplace within a unique overarching commonplace called homeland or nation. nation. Well, this is a very good example of it being prevented through ironical theater. Thank you.